I have some embarrassing stories from uh from Cody's college. I well, let's go into that then, Alex, because uh, I don't remember that's another to talk about from that day. You looked I'll down in shame. You looked at your mic, and I was like, "Oh, here it comes." Oh, we yeah. got a story coming up. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, I didn't go to this college. My brother did, Cody, for everybody listening. But uh, he, they had a rule: if you got shut out, you had to in beer pong, you had to run the lap naked, all right, like around the house, butt ass naked. And mm-hmm. this is probably the first like major college party I'm at. So. And I lost. I got shut out. So I didn't want to be a bitch. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll do it. I ra- and I ran the lab naked. Not even the embarrassing part yet. All right. So <laughs> I go pictures back. Pictures didn't happen. Nah, I don't have any pictures. But, <laughs> uh-huh. So uh, a couple hours later, I'm getting drunker and drunker. And I'm, I'm playing beer pong again. And this is maybe the most embarrassing part of the story, but not the point of it. I got shut out again. <laughs> just got lost again to beer pong. By then they're used to it. It's fine. <laughs> just run around naked. Just so, keep them off. So I ran around naked again, but I ran into the biggest group of college girls walking down this fucking <laughs> this, this campus, dude. And I didn't like... It was too late to go back because I'm I was pretty far, you know. You're committed, but like it was too late. Like I had to go forward, and um, I ran through this crowd of girls, and I think they knew what was going on. They're just like they just giggled. They were nice. They're just like, haha, we've been there. And I'm just like, hey, just like running down the street. Uh, but yeah, I'm not good. I am good at beer pong, but I wasn't yeah. then, I guess. But <laughs> Yeah, it was you're probably good at it now because you don't want to get naked. <laughs> yeah, that That's traumatized your experience. beer pong game. Yeah. All right, Vernon, <laughs> you got an embarrassing story? Embarrassing story. Like, the only thing I could think of, like, the top of my head was, like, I remember I had Heelys in, like, middle school. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know <laughs> the end. Yeah, we, we, I think we all know the end of the And I was just like, <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I had Heelys, but I remember just having Heelys in middle you school. You were a badass. <laughs> and a badass. Riding the halls. The opposite. And, like, just proves it right here. But, like, I remember it was just, like, right at the end of a class, like, the period ended, and, like, I was, like, the first one out the class, and I'm just, like, shh, and I tripped. And I, like, had all my books and stuff, and I was, like, Phew. and all my shit just went everywhere, and I'm just laying on the ground, and, like, like I said, it was, like, right whenever... Class let out, so like everybody's in the hallways. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm, oh, <laughs> I was just like picked up all my shit and just walked away just because I was about to fucking roll away at that point. Probably fucking last time I ever wore them jaws, but I was just like, I, don't I, even reti- I retired the Heelys. <laughs> Heelys right there. I don't even remember. I just remember that shit happening and just being like, did this really happen? Like, I think. You know, I think Heelys were death story. traps. Oh, Heelys were a death trap, dude. Mm-hmm. I tried to jump over a skateboard, like just one skateboard, I didn't. like on Heelys, and I landed with my feet like instead of like this, they were like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. Oh, straight back. Terrible. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what happened. I just want to make. I want to make a prediction that all of our embarrassing stories happen in high school. Yeah. Well, mine was middle school. So. Middle school to be honest, you can't I think swear. of anything. I can't think. I have, Evan's never been embarrassed. No, I, just, I haven't been embarrassed. I just can't think of like a story worthy, like embarrassing. You know, I have. Why you got? Oh, can you got I one. Substitute it with like a big fuck up. Sure. Yeah. It's okay. Are you embarrassed that you did the fuck up? That's embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, not now because I don't care. It doesn't yeah, affect me. But I'm sure Vernon isn't embarrassed still. He doesn't go to sleep thinking about his Healy trip. No, but that's <laughs> like off the top of my head. I was like, yo, I remember. <laughs> <you know. laughs> Let's hear you oh, fuck up. I can think of other ones. Next? Okay. So I can't give like super specific details considering the the yeah. how where it was. But it was when I was working at a bank and there was a very, very uh high dollar customer that was in. And they were purchasing something overseas for like six hundred grand. All right. Yeah. So there were two wire transfers that needed done. One was for like 600 and another one was for like 80. So I did the one for 600. Everything went fine. 
I did the one for 80. I accidentally sent it to the place where I sent the 600. <laughs> so what happens is with the way, and it was, this was international. So this isn't like going from us. This is going to like, I don't even remember what country at this point. When you say always, 80, you're saying like 80 grand. I can tell you guys what it is later, but I can't right now. Yeah, but, but you're saying like yeah. grand, right? 80 grand. Yes. Okay, 80,000. Okay. Yeah. The 600,000 went fine. But anyway, Good. so <laughs> the, so what happens is, um, and th- first off though, this guy was so cool about it. He actually like, he offered to buy us like ice cream on his way back. Cause he had to come back <laughs> and he's like, you guys want some ice cream? I'm stopping to get some. So, but it was, it was so like my heart sank. Mortified. But so what happens is when you send money internationally, exchange rates change on the minute. So, but since this was such a high dollar amount, like it was like 80 grand that we sent and we, so we got it back. But by the time we got it back, it was like a thousand dollars less. So the bank lost like a thousand dollars because they, did, they they had to comp him for that because it hey, was like, yeah. a screw up, and I was like sweating bullets, mortified, like, dude. But because the guy was so cool about it, they were just like, you know, it's not like he was making a deal out of it. So yeah. I yeah. thought Evan was gonna say I just exchanged it to the wrong bank account. Somehow it ended in my bank account. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I was under investigation so, for a little while, but it's okay. <laughs> it's good now. Yeah, no. See, that happened now not like like someone tried to transfer money like out of their account and they accidentally did it to like someone else's i guess yeah that was a weird thing but yeah that was my like it 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 was embarrassing but because the guy was like super cool about it so it made it a little better but yeah (laughs) i'll tell you guys what it was then because i think you guys will think it's cool what he was but (laughs) why what about you oh mine mine's kind of fucked (laughs) <laughs> it is um it i it was after high school in fact and i remember going to a college visited my boy and like i knew a couple of his buddies there like one was a filmmaker and i remember we went to like one of his other buddies dorms and this dude was like in a film like this little short that he put together and he like showed it to us and it was like artsy and like black and white and it had music like cool me like string music over top of it and like at the time like just stupid humor i was just like yo this kind of reminds me of like a commercial you would see for like diseases or like an inspirational like and they're like yeah the dude had cancer and i was like oh (laughs) my god yeah and he's like but it's okay i got it he's like i'm cancer free now and he's like (laughs) and i'm like yo i felt like such an asshole (sighs) into mouth yeah i felt like such a dickhead dude I think that one wins. Stay away from all that. Yeah, that one wins, bro. Mine's not that that bad. Embarrassing, bro. Oh my god! Like my heart sank, and I was like, bro, I felt like like, I even like talked to him afterwards. I was like, yo, I felt like such a dick. Like I'm not like that. I'm sorry. And he's like, it's all right, bro. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Dark shit sometimes, bro. I felt so bad. Oh my god. Storm, you got one. Oh man, I've been trying to think of a better one, but the only thing I can, I can remember. I can go if you want to think more. Yeah, you go, you go. I'll go. All right, I have I have two, but I'm gonna hit the one real quick because I don't want to take a ton of time. Um, I remember one time when I was in gym class, dude. I was chasing this basketball, rolling across the floor, and I'm staring straight at this basketball, and I'm talking like I Spider Man Rhino head butted this fucking wall, and like. <laughs> I think I did like permanent like damage your to head my head goes in your body, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> like I think I think You're I did permanent damage. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, man. I, I used to be six eight, but I'm six four <laughs> now. <is that? laughs> but like I was so embarrassed when I, I think I did damage to my spine, but I was so embarrassed. I didn't tell anybody, dude, like my <laughs> fucking neck hurt for the next probably four months, but I was just too embarrassed to tell anybody <laughs> that I don't fucking it. smashed You could have like needed a back brace or like a neck <laughs> brace or some shit. You just, <laughs> like, uh, hurt my head, but I'm all right. Don't worry. I'm no, I'm, uh, like, like I'm tall in the 90s. Man, it's it it was embarrassing because I like you're not comfortable with your body in high school and I'm tall as shit in high school and I was probably lumbering at this thing like arms spread out like oh 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 like and just like boom straight into this fucking wall dude wow. like 
so embarrassed. But I don't think anybody saw. Maybe. There's somebody yeah, else starting a podcast right remember, now who did see that. <laughs> They're talking about remember it. Remember the one bull got kicked in the chest in gym class back in the day? <laughs> I do, man. He got Spartan kicked, dude. <laughs> Yo. Gym class the hero. shit I've seen. He got Spartan kicked. <laughs> I don't remember right, this. Wait, yes, bro, took his air the, right out of him. It was on tape for the indoor. I don't think so. Uh, it was the uh, gym class. Me, him, and him shared, dude. I don't it think you were there. Indoor, um, like kickball it like, shit. It was like kickball. <laughs> I don't even know why he kicked him, bro. Second base. Because he didn't like. Because we called this kid gym class hero because he was just a try hard dude, mm -hmm. and like our one buddy, he was in it and he was like, "This kid, fuck this kid," and he was <laughs> running around second base and he just like twirled, <laughs> like twirled, <laughs> like, <laughs> like just like whoosh, ah. roundhouse, <laughs> like full roundhouse kicks this bull right in the chest, just <laughs> drops him. Oh my god. <gasps> I forgot we were all in the gym class together, bro. Because, like, I remember that. Like, <laughs> just like, oh, oh, my shit. God. oh, God. We, uh, but my, my actual embarrassing story is, uh, and it's still in high school, too. Um, when I used to do musicals, you guys all know, I used to do, like, musicals and stuff. And, uh, I mean, I was okay. N not in the sense like I was a great actor, but I was um, like, I didn't forget my lines or anything, but it was my senior year, dude. And I had like a big part in this musical and I completely blanked on a line in a live show. <laughs> and I don't know. If, and Wyatt, you've done some live theater. Yeah. Like you're in front of like hundreds of people, dude. And my yeah. fucking heart, <laughs> it was the most like scared. People could probably see the steam coming off my head dude like i was so <laughs> embarrassed man. and luckily the the girl i was across from it was, it was a kissing scene actually the girl of course. From it, of course, right? <laughs> she was she she was and probably still is a great actor wherever she was she was a great great actor actress um and she saved me man she just like pulled it out she like gave me a bewildered eyes I gave her the eyes like, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and this wasn't like our first show, guys. This is like, like you do like a Friday and then a Saturday matinee and then a Saturday and then like a like an, an end show. This is the Saturday. This is the big one. This is the one. That is like <laughs> People take time out of their night. Like yeah, everybody like the whole weekend. <laughs> and she, luckily she saved me. It was uh it was super embarrassing, but she saved me. We got through the scene, and but also, of course, that was the night they filmed. So, <laughs> if you rewatch the film, like I'm up there, like uh, uh, and uh, uh those type of like, moments remind me of like DBC when they're like, oh, like animes. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, oh it was, what have I done? Oh, <laughs> how can I be do so about it to this day? How fucking embarrassed I was, just. Oh, terrible. Man. But that's my story. You didn't think of one storm? Oh man. So the only one I can think of, and it goes it goes back. Goes to uh you wanna cut it right here? Wait no, a man. second. Oh we can't uh, hear yeah. him. You take your time, man. Stuff. <laughs> so uh my embarrassing story is probably from elementary school, honestly. Um, yeah, we'll go way back. That's the only one I can think of. But I missed the bus. We'll, we'll simplify this. I missed the bus. Uh, I usually sit outside waiting for the big yellow Twinkie to come pick me up. I missed it, and my mom had her work, and I had to, I had, I, I had to shit outside. Yep. <laughs> I had to take a shit, guys. So I shit outside in the lawn. And, uh, we lived in a duplex. It was <laughs> so like an apartment. Though. Yeah, Those people. I, like a... Yo, <laughs> I hope not. I was expecting that. <laughs> no, that's a good I tripped mean... and fell in a pose. I shit. I shit outside. Long <laughs> story short, I shit outside. Shit outside yeah. I think I was in second grade. Shit. <laughs> I shit outside and uh, 
Needless That's to like say, my son's age, bro. Day, of of course I'm not at I'm not at school. So I had to play. I mean, I had to do something. So uh, I don't have a cell phone. I'm a, what is it? Like, what, 1990, eight. freaking eight, seven, something. No cell phone. Uh, and I had to play for the rest of the day in the, the yard. So pretty much I'm stepping over my own shit. Playing. Did you do it in a corner? Did you do it like right like a dog? Or did you like no, go to the I house in a morning? Did you wipe I mean, it's <laughs> I can't I can't tell you the exact perimeter of the yard at this time. But I uh, saw it diagram. Well, I had to tell my mom she had to clean it up. So most embarrassing story for your mom that she had to go out. And <laughs> Hey, she can start her own goddamn podcast or be a guest. <laughs> Send her an email. Tell you very story about you. For me, yeah. How are you trying to tell me? You think it's embarrassing <laughs> to clean up somebody else else's stool sample? That is true. <laughs> she yeah. didn't shit outside, okay? She, <laughs> she didn't. But she's a great mom. I'm sure. I'm sure if somebody asked, she'd cover. She'd be like, "Yeah, that's mine." That's about how so, I feel, Mom. I had to shit outside. Yeah. <laughs> you still got to go. You Sorry, know? I had to clean it up. I had to actually there's, sit look, down and shit no, outside. Let's have no like, in, like inhibition like that. He didn't care, dude. He's like, I had to go. <laughs> dude, I had to go. No it time was... for problem solving. It's... No. It's you gotta get off the pot. Thing. The time <laughs> form reminded me of something that actually embarrassing that. Like, it didn't happen to me. Dude, I had to. A... Too, weirdly enough like, and of course it's like a shitting story so yeah, like okay we got a whole so, segment yeah. i'm, Please make uh, feel I'm like two years old okay it's Bree's yeah. first birthday party and this is back in like 90 yeah like storm said like 97 probably 98 i forget what how old Bree would have been i don't know but anyway my parents recorded everything on a camcorder like everything oh, like they did so my my dad comes back and i'm like two i'm almost three years old i'm sitting on this like little like training potty and i'm like grunting away like i'm going at it and he's like evan what are you doing and my response is just (laughs) peeing like but no but my parents showed this to everyone everyone has seen this video of me your wife has seen this video video. (laughs) but like they recorded everything so like yeah and i'm like grunting away like i'm taking this massive shit but like nope my response is like peeing everyone i i have that's awful, and it's awful that your parents showed that to Brittany. Yeah. No, Link it's okay. to the video in the bio. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's what they, say. they always said they wanted to like send it to like America's Funniest Home Videos because it was sure. like that was back America's, when that was huge. Please God, no! Yeah, Don't. Like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be famous, Bob Saget talking about you. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> In Listen, I have, a, I have a very similar story, but all of yours have something to do with your children and have no inhibition. I was a grown ass man. This is probably like four years ago. All right. Um, with my current girlfriend, Marissa, we're very recently dating. So three years ago, probably we go on vacation to West Virginia and we're doing like spelunking. It's like cave diving. OK, and we are probably three hours into this cave, an hour and a half, and whatever we're in. We're deep in this cave, dude, and it fucking hit me. And I am with my my, my brand new girlfriend at the point, and I'm just like, what do I do? Like, like I can't do it. And I, and I, I held it for so long, guys. I, I troopered <laughs> out, man, and I tried, and I was like, I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it to the door. I probably made it to, like, ten minutes before the door, and I, I couldn't oh, anymore, couldn't. dude. I had to go to the bathroom in this cave, man, and I'd use my oh. socks awful and it was oh like and i got out of this cave and i'm like if you break up with me i get it like <laughs> just leave me now i understand leave me here with my pants down in this cave i was fucking mortified in front of my like and i want to say we were new we were maybe five months into a relationship so not brand new or anything but yeah. like new enough dude yeah new enough. 
we didn't talk about or have that kind of stuff. You know, we didn't live together at that point. We didn't like none of that was a thing. There's no um, group talk yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't. I'm not gonna get as graphic as you do. It was just a regular poop, but like <laughs> in front of my girlfriend. And it was, I mean, not in front. I made her leave. I wasn't like stand right there, make sure a bat doesn't Guard get me. me. <laughs> <laughs> like it was pretty. Cave monsters might get you. It was embarrassing shit, dude. It was awful. You bring up uh, a good element, and uh, I don't remember wiping. So there's that too. Yeah. Well, suck or not. I don't